Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Jan Michael here. It's time for the nominees. Uh, super excited. I am not watching these live. Uh, I wasn't going to get up that early to watch the nominees. Uh, plus, I like to pause the video whenever something exciting or shocking happens just to collect my thoughts. Uh, I got my paperwork here. In the excitement of everything, I usually forget what my <laughs> nominations were and um, what the possible nominees could be. So I, I need a little bit of a guide to help me out in uh, during these moments. So yeah, let let's not waste any time. I'm excited. We're going to jump right in. Okay. Okay. After that nonsense... Supporting actors. Uh, I think everybody has the same five. Uh, all the people that I followed on, on on YouTube that also do predictions. It's like we all had the exact five. So um, yeah, let's let's take a look. Let's see if we were all right. Jesse Buckley in <gasps> the Lost Dog. All fucking ready. All fucking ready. Oh my god. Ariana DeBose in West Side Story. Yep. Judy Dench in Belfast. Mm, no way! Kirsten Dunst in Power of the Dog. Oh my god. And Ingenue Ellis in King Richard. Oh my god. Already. Already fucking right off the bat. Well, I'm glad Ingenue Ellis got in because uh, we were kind of worried that she might not. Holy shit! So, Katrina Boff didn't get in. Uh, I always thought maybe that could be a possibility just because she wasn't doing like amazing or anything like that. But so in the back of my mind, I thought if there was anybody who might not get in, it would be her. But Ruth Nega? Ruth Nega was getting in fucking everywhere. What the fuck happened? Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, well, we're already off to, we're already off to a shocking start. Um, all right, cool. I'm digging it. Let's continue. Achievement in costume design. Cruella. Uh huh. Cyrano. Gotcha, baby. Dune. Yep. Nightmare Alley. Ugh, so Nightmare Alley got in, okay. And West Side Story. All right, four out of five. Hey, not bad. A little hurt my costume. Not bad. Again. Well, maybe next year. So they didn't go. They didn't go Gucci. And sound. sound. Belfast. Okay. Dune. Mm hmm. No time to die. Yep, there it is. The power of the dog. Perfect. And West Side Story. Bam! Five out of five, baby. Five out of five. Here are the nominees for achievement in music. Original score. Original score, baby. Don't look up. Uh, yep. Dune. Mm hmm. Encanto. Encanto got in. Parallel Mothers. Oh, shit. Okay. And the power of the dog. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's pause it there. Uh, Parallel Mothers. Okay. That was the surprise there. Uh, don't look up. We That was a possibility. You guys were even telling me don't look up. So I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought probably the French Dispatch uh, might have gotten it. And yes, I had Spencer. Uh, I probably wouldn't if I had been able to see the BAFTA uh, nominations before I was able to do my final predictions, uh, I probably would have just knocked it out because I don't really think Spencer's getting in anywhere. Still holding out hope for for Kristen Stewart. I know it's it's very slim at this point, but that's where I kind of had there. Um, yeah, for the most part, that that's pretty parallel mothers. That's probably the only shocker there. So, all right, let's continue. And now, adapted screenplay. The mm -hmm. nominees are Coda. Yep. Screenplay by Sean Hager. Drive my car. Screen by Ryusuke. Drive my car. Bam, Ryusuke. right there. And Taka Masaoa. Next, Dune. Dune. Yes. Screenplay by John Spates. Lost Otters, definitely. Denu Villeneuve and Eric Roth. Good job. <laughs> The Lost Daughter. Yep, there we go. Gyllenhaal. And The Power of the Dog. Bam. By Jane five out of five, baby. Here are the nominees for original screenplay. All right, here we go. Belfast. Oh, okay. Being the Ricardos. I mean, he didn't get in. They didn't get in. Don't Look Up. Mm-hmm. Screenplay by Adam McKay. 
Story by Adam McKay. Just give me mass. I have just, just give me mass, please. King Richard, written by Zach yeah, Brown. yeah, I should have put that one in. Licorice Pizza, written by Paul Thomas Anderson. Mass, please. And the worst person in the world. Oh, by okay. I. Oh, didn't expect that. <laughs> um, holy shit. Uh, well, that was a nice little surprise at the end. It wasn't mass. <laughs> it wasn't mass, but um, it, it didn't leave off on a bad note. <laughs> so, okay. All right, cool. And being the Ricardos didn't get in. They didn't give it to Aaron Sorkin. Okay, cool. Um, it makes me think that maybe being the Ricardos isn't, isn't going to show up here. Um at all probably so uh oh god okay very excited all right let's continue here are the nominees for best animated animated short cool all right cool i don't even need to pause it film affairs of the oh okay bestia uh box ballet oh shit <laughs> that's gonna be terrible robin, robin. Uh, one hey the windshield wiper. <laughs> Why well, did fucking terrible? I was two out of five. I thought for sure Shaman's Apprentice. I was telling you guys that, you know, the whole claymation style. Um, apparently that doesn't count for shorts or I'm, I, I might be wrong about that style. Again, I haven't seen really any of the animated shorts apart from a few. Us again. You know, I, I, I was saying pick, uh, Disney, excuse me. Disney doesn't always get in for the animated shorts. Same thing happened uh, last year with um, Out. And that one was a big shocker to me. I thought for sure they would get that one in. So yeah, um, second year in a row, I've been burned by that. Uh, and I took it off and I saw too many people really believing it was gonna get in. So I gotta stick to my guns next time. Uh, although what I would have replaced it with also didn't get in. So I, I would have I missed it regardless. But yeah, there, there you go for that one. Another category for me. Another I'm short. Back, We're doing another back short. To back Leslie again. I think they like my announcer voice. <laughs> and now, the nominees for best live action short film. All right. Worst subject. Worst category for me. A la Kachu, Taken Red. Okay, cool. The Dress. Okay. The Long Goodbye. Yep. On My Mind. Oh, dear. And Please Hold. Oh, my God. Oh, one out of five. Wow, that's painful. Well, I ain't breaking any records, that's for sure. I only got one. Damn, man. Damn, and a lot of these are on other people's predictions, too, that I saw. So, yeah, that's that's a surprise. All right, I think they're going to finish up with documentary so short. And now, here are the nominees for performance by an actor in a supporting role. All right, no, no, it's not. It's going straight into actor in a supporting role. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yes, let's do it. I'm excited. Um, I think this is another one that a lot of the people that I followed and I kind of have the same idea is, um, is Jared Leto going to get in? Uh, is, um, is Bradley Cooper going to get in or are we going to get surprised by a, um, a Mike Feist, uh, or a Robin DeJesus or, or fucking Jay-Z, uh, Jason Isaacs, uh, does he hugely surprise uh, probably not since we didn't get Anne down and I thought she was the better, um, she, she's probably the one that would get in if any of the performances were going to. So, um, yeah, let's, let's hop right in. <coughs> Kareen Hines in Belfast. Yep. Troy Kotzer. Yep. No Cooper. No Cooper. Jesse Plemons in The Power of Oh, Earth. he got in. J.K. Simmons. In no. Oh, and shit. And Cody Smith McPhee in Power of the Dog. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. Look, I like J.K. Simmons a lot, but come on. He was just J.K. Simmons in that movie. I, oh, no. Yeah, okay. Okay. Here are the nominees for Achievement in Film Editing. Editing. Don't look up. Mm. Dune. No Belfast. King Richard. Okay. The Power of the Dog. Yep. And Tick Tick Boom. Oh, they didn't give it to West Side Story. 
Why? <laughs> Don't look up got in as well. Nice. Um, I was seeing... Uh, who was it? Was it the Oscar expert or I I, I don't remember. I, I follow a couple of people, but uh, I think they were making the argument that don't look up most likely wasn't going to get in. So I'm looking forward to their reaction if it was them um, when it does get in. So um, I always thought that was a possibility on, on my end. Um, I just didn't go for it just because I didn't know how well don't look up was going to going to perform and show up. Uh, so that's what that's why I didn't include it. Yeah, no Belfast, no West Side Story. They went with Tick Tick Boom instead. Mm, interesting. Okay, all right, cool. They they're definitely making him the mascot for this whole section. Okay, cool. Makeup and hairstyling. Now here are the nominees. Mm hmm. Coming to America. Uh, there it is. Mm-hmm. Doom. Yep. The eyes of Tammy Faye. Yep. Five out of five. And House of Goose. Five out of five, baby. Yeah. Here are the nominees for the best animated feature film. All right. Encanto. Mm-hmm. Glee. Perfect. Luca. Yep. The Mitchells versus the Machines. Yep. And Raya and the Did anybody deny that? Did anybody deny? Oh wait, no, no. I did. I did see somebody who denied it. Uh, fuck. What was it? It was um, uh, Max Max Joseph. Like I was seeing part of his um, his live stream, and then he had like a guest person who was like, "Yeah, I don't have the Mitchells versus the Machine. It's just a feeling, and you gotta go with your feelings." And even Max was like. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, so I hope he's watching this and I hope he realizes what a fool he is. Um, Mitchells was gonna get in. Fuck anyone who says it wasn't. Um, but, you know, not really. <laughs> and now, here are the nominees for Achievement in Music Original Song. Songs. Be Alive from King Richard. Mm-hmm. Dos Oruguitas. Yes. Guns go bang. Guns go bang. Oh, it got in. Son of a bitch. No time. Oh. And somehow you do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking Diane Warren. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that song isn't even that good. Oh, son of a bitch. No guns go bang. Uh, so we may start. Fuck, even Just Look Up got, didn't get in. And uh, like that one was the one that I, like everybody was predicting. So I put it in. Holy shit. All right, well. Aw, oh, man. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, no time to die, right? No time to die. But still, it'd be nice to have the other songs in there too. The category is best documentary short. Are you making I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was you. It was you. Okay. Here are the nominees for best documentary short subject. Audible. Uh, yeah. Leave me home. Yes. The queen of basketball. Mm-hmm. Three songs for Ben Azir. Uh-huh. And when we were both. Oh, shit. Four out of five, motherfuckers. Ah, uh, damn. Oh, I should have left Audible in there. I should have left. Oh, to be honest, though, I probably would have kept Cam Confidential um, if I uh, if I did put um, Audible in there. But Lead Me Home, Lead Me Home was like at the bottom of everybody's uh, everybody's list. Like out of all the possibilities, it was like at the bottom. And in my mind, I'm like, no, no, something. I don't know that that seems like a move, a, a short that should get in. Uh, so I took a risk on it, and I felt terrible because nobody was fucking predicting it, and it got in. So fuck yeah, four out of five, baby, on that one. I'm surprised. Um, yeah, but I mean that that excitement out of the way, I did fucking terrible in the other shorts. So uh, it is a very short-lived celebration for me. <laughs> and now here are the nominees for best documentary feature. Okay. Ascension. Okay. Attica. Okay, Attica getting. Mm hmm good. Summer of Soul yes! The revolution could yes! Oh my god, fucking yes! And riding with fire. Whoa, okay, well, didn't even see that one coming. Okay, but... 
Wait, so know the rescue? Know the rescue? Oh, shit. Everyone was saying they're... Oh, shit. Wait, was then the rescue the snub? Is that where the curse hit? I guess that was the curse. Fuck, because that documentary was really fucking good. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, Summer of Soul fucking got it. It deserved it. I'm... Yes, I, I'm super excited for that one. That, I'm just happy that one got in, so. Here are the nominees for achievement in visual effects. Okay. Young Wolf. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, my papers got all mixed up. Okay, cool, got it, got it. Visual effects, let's do it. Dude. Yep. Free Guy. Oh, Free Guy got in. No Time to Die. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Yeah. And the legend... Of the ten rings. And then Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. No way home. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah. No Godzilla versus Kong. I was hoping that would pull off a, like, a surprise at the end. And it ended up being Free Guy. I'm cool with that. Um, any video game representation at the Oscars, I'm cool with. Um, so, yeah. I I'm down with that. Uh, no Matrix either. Uh, I don't think the world enjoyed it as much as... Uh, well, that movie was like a mixed bag for a lot of people. So, okay, okay. Next up, the nominees for achievement in cinematography. Dune. Yep. Nightmare Alley. Yep. The Power of the Dog. Mm-hmm. The Tragedy of Macbeth. Nice. And West Side Story. Yeah, five out of five. And now, here are the nominees for achievement in production design. Cool. Let's do it. Dune. Mm-hmm. Nightmare Alley. Okay. The Power of the Dog. Oh, shit. Okay. The Tragedy of Macbeth. Uh-huh. And West Side Story. Okay. Four out of five. Not bad. So here are the nominees for Best International Feature Film. All right, all right. Drive My Car. Yep. Japan. Flee. Yep. Denmark. The Hand of God. Uh-huh. Italy. Luana. A Yak in the Classroom. Okay. Got snubbed. And the worst person in a the world. Hero. Norway. A <laughs> hero didn't get in. Huh. It's funny because I thought out of like a hero in the hand of God, um, I thought maybe a hero would get in more. Uh because uh, the hand of God is I guess I guess the industry's loving that film. Um Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, moving on. I'm not I'm not like ginormously shocked about this one. Like if flee or drive my car. Or the worst person in the world didn't get in. I, I probably would have been more shocked, uh, just because hey, the popularity of those and them getting into like writing as well. Um, so, yeah, that that would have been shocking. Uh, the nominees for performance by an actor in a leading role are right, Javier Bardem. Oh no! Oh no! Cumberbatch in the Tower of the Dog. <sighs> Who's fucking not getting Andrew in? Andrew Garfield in Tick. -tick Peter Tick -tick. Dinklage. Will Smith and King Richard. Peter Dinklage. And Denzel Washington in the tragedy of Macbeth. Fuck, dude. Oh, man. I mean, signs were kind of there. So, I mean, if you were going to take any of these people out, it, it would be Peter. Oh, man. Uh, that's kind of disheartening. And now, the nominees for performance by an actress in a league. Is Kristen Stewart finally done? Jessica Chastain Excellent. in the eyes of Tammy Faye. Olivia Colman mm -hmm. in The Lost Daughter. Penelope Cruz <gasps> in Parallel Mode. Oh, shit. Yeah, she might be done. Nicole Kidman <gasps> in Being No! Murdered. No Lady Gaga! And Kristen <gasps> <Schoen> <gasps> Gaga was the front runner now. I I never quite bought into it. Uh, I but I, for her to fucking get snubbed. Oh my god! Somebody's pissed right now. Oh my god! Holy fucking shit! Hey, Kristen Stewart, you got it. Congratulations. Yeah. Holy crap. That's probably the biggest shock. Oh my god. All right, all right, I gotta finish these, I gotta finish these. Two more categories left. Woo, this is so exciting. The first is for Achievement in Directing. Mm -hmm. And the nominees are... 
Brian yeah, I got it. Nice. Ray Yusuke Hamaguchi, drive my car. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Paul Thomas Anderson, licorice pizza. Oh, my God. Jane Campion. Oh, fuck. Power of the dog. Holy shit. And Steven Spielberg, West Side Story. <gasps> no. Final no. They fucking did it. They didn't put the knee. Son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no, that sucks. Yeah. Well, hey, for those who got Steven Spielberg out, for those who got Kenneth Branagh out, I, I think we all suffer today. Oh, Jesus Christ. Leave the big one. Okay. The nominees for best picture. Okay, come on. Belfast. Yep. Laura Berwick, Kenneth Branagh, Becca Kuvasik, and Tamar Thomas, producers. Coda. Mm hmm. Philippe Rousselet. Fabrice no being the Ricardos. And Patrick Waxberger, producer. The producers. Don't look up. Mm -hmm. Adam McKay and Kevin Messick. Producers. Drive my car, baby. Give me the 10. Drive my car. Yes. Terrible yes! Yamamoto, producer. Doom. Mm hmm. Very Even though you bad. didn't give him fucking director. And Kale Boiter. Producers. King Richard. Mm hmm. Tim White, Trevor White, and Will Smith. Producers. Licorice Pizza. Sarah Murphy. This. Adam Sumner. This might be it. Paul Thomas Anderson. Because no House of Gucci in here. I, I think. Perfect 10. Nightmare <gasps> no, just as I fucking said it. Just as I said it. Oh, uh, who didn't get in? The power of the dog. Jane Campion. All right. It's either Tick, Tick, Boom or West Side Story. Tanya Segachian. Sorry. Emil Sherman, Ian Canning, and Roger Frappier, producers. And West Side Story. Mm. Steven Poor Tick, Tick, Tick Boom. Boom. That sucks. That sucks. Damn. Okay. Collecting my thoughts. Collecting my thoughts. Uh, let's go through them real quickly. I'm, I'm not going to take up too much time. Uh, picture. 9 out of 10. Great. Tick, Tick, Boom didn't get in. Uh, Nightmare Alley took it instead. Um, okay. I mean, that's, that's fine. I mean... It, it, it rather Tick Tick Boom and got in our Nightmare Alley, they weren't gonna be winning, but that's uh, kind of a shame. But okay. Uh director fucking Denis didn't get in, and that's a fucking shame. That is a shame. I'm I'm saddened by that. He's such a great director. He's probably one of my favorite directors, so the that was a snub. That was a fucking snub, especially with how many nominations Dune got. That's fucking bullshit. Uh actor Poor Peter didn't get in, um, and because of that, uh, it's based, I think this is the first time in a long time that we don't have a brand newcomer into this category, so it's, it's all returning people from the past. Uh, actress Lady Gaga didn't get, in, didn't get in. That's a fucking shock. I can't wait to see the fucking reactions off that. So that, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, supporting actor. Yeah, they didn't go for, for Cooper or Leto, so... Um, shit, yeah, that, 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 that was, uh, I mean, let's be honest, I, you could probably have swapped, uh, knocked those out and put something else in there, uh, so that one wasn't a huge surprise, uh, I thought the industry loved them enough to just, just get them in, but I guess that wasn't the case, uh, supporting actress, both Balf and Nega, I mean, Balf wasn't a huge shock, but Nega not getting in, that was surprising, uh, screenplay, uh, yep, no being the Ricardos, no mass, no love for mass, man, that's a, I guess nobody saw that fucking movie, um, despite so many people loving it, that, that sucks, uh, perfect for adapted screenplay, uh, drive my car got in, I know I had a couple of people who were like, nah, that's not gonna get in, but it did, so, awesome, uh, film editing, yeah, Tick, Tick, Boom over, over West Side Story, and uh, now, now that we know Tick, Tick, Boom isn't in Best Picture, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, production design did pretty good on four out of five. Cinematography, five out of five. Costume, uh, four out of five. They didn't go for House of Gucci. I thought they might go that route, but I guess not. Um, 
makeup and hairstyling, uh, five out of five on that one as well. Animated feature film, five out of five, we're good there. Documentary, I'm so fucking glad Summer of Soul got in, so fucking glad. Shocked that The Rescue didn't get in, I guess that was the cursed, but there it is. We were focused in the wrong place, we were focused in the wrong place. International, five out of five. Uh, score, um, yeah, go for Spencer, um, that isn't a huge shock, Spencer, apart from the acting, didn't get anything, uh, song, I wanted Guns Go Bang to get in, didn't, that's okay, No Time to Die is gonna take that one, um, sound, 5 out of 5, did good, visual effects, um, Shang-Chi and Spider-Man, so two, uh, Marvel films on that one, uh, so there's that. And then the shorts, you know, two out of five for animated short, and one out of five for live action short. I'm telling you, it's always my weakest topic. So there's that. And then surprisingly with documentary, got four out of five. Uh, yeah, uh, other surprises, Penelope Cruz getting in, Javier Bardem getting in. Um, yeah, there's a lot to think about. Um, and yeah, and now you guys know what you need to go see if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, I've seen all the best picture nominees with the exception of Drive My Car. That's the only one I'm missing. Uh, so keep a lookout. I am going to do my road to the Oscars. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's where I take, um, I do one review for every best picture nominee every day leading up to my final predictions the day right before the Oscars. And then I go ahead and do a reactions to the Oscars themselves. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself here, but you might not see that reaction the day of, especially because the Oscars are pretty late. So you might see that the day after and worst, worst scenario, you'll see it the day after that. Because again, I do work and the videos sometimes take a long time to edit. So uh, please be patient with me. And there's a shit ton more videos coming out, uh, you know, the award seasons. I'm fucking pumped. Um, yeah, lot, lot to think about. So guys, like always. Uh, let me know what you thought about all these nominations in the comments below. Stay safe out there and have a good one.